every child has the right to live. It doesn't matter if he's from China or India, or she is from Sudan or Guatemala. It doesn't matter if she is from Canada or Egypt. Each and every one of these beautiful children have the right to live. If you are pained because of the heinous killings of school children in the United States, please be pained by the kids in Afghanistan who were bombed on their way to school, or the girls who were killed in Afghanistan when they picked up a mine. If you are in pain because of Newtown, Connecticut, where a man senselessly walked into a school and killed children, then please be in pain because of Kandahar, Afghanistan, where children were senselessly bombed by U.S. planes as they were attending a wedding. If all the senseless killings in the U.S. are painful, and they are, then the senseless killings in Somalia, Yemen, Iraq, and the Gaza Strip are also painful. All children have the right to live in dignity and with peace. All kids have the right to have a safe and secure place to call home. They have the right to be clothed and fed. They have the right to go to school without being shot at or killed. They have the right to play without thinking that a drone is going to shoot at them. They have the right for their homes not to be bulldozed. They have the right not to be bombed. They have the right to have food and not starve. They have the right not to be in a war zone. They have the right not to be tortured and jail. They have the right not to have airplanes flying over their heads and bombing them with phosphorus or other chemicals. They have the right not to be blown up by landmines, which they think are toys. So, if there are tears to be shed for the suffering of children in the United States, then shed them for all the world's children who are suffering. And if you can cry for one, you should cry for all. None is better than the other, nor does a parent in the East love her child any less than one in the West, nor a parent from the South any less than the North. Shedding tears are not enough, but taking action against all violence and oppression is a must. Let's stand up against violence all over the world. Let's say no to the mass killer in the United States who wants to go into a school and shoot innocent children. Let's say no to the mass killer in Pakistan who wants to shoot the kids from a drone. Let's say no to the mass killer in Syria who bombs residential buildings and terrorizes its residents. Let's say no to the mass killer in Somalia. Afghanistan and Iraq. Let's say no to the mass killer, which has put sanction after sanction on Syria and Iran, where children suffer. Let's say no to the mass killer, which has occupied and killed many Palestinian children, and submits them to arm checkpoints every day. Let's say no to all oppression, and not just give lip service of wanting. To enhance the security of some children, but turning it into a reality for all. When we shed a tear, it should be for all and for our inability to bring justice and security to these children of the world. Let's stop playing with words such as justice, human rights, and respect, and actually try to implement a just and fair world in which one child's life. Is not more valuable than another simply because of his nationality. All kids have the right to live in peace and security. From the east to the west, and from the north to the south, every child must be valued. No matter the time of year or season it is, we must try to ensure their safety. Whether it's just before Christmas in the United States, during Eid al-Adha in Syria. During a wedding in Afghanistan, or even a funeral in Iraq or Bahrain, no child should have to suffer. But they do every day. Some things cannot be controlled, but many can. 
and it is possible to end the wars, to end the starvation, and to end much of the suffering of the children in our world if we really want to, because every child has the right to live in dignity.